And that's why we are officially appointing you as the chief caretaker of Meow's Cafe. Here's your contract. Sign it after you read everything. Your shift starts tomorrow morning. Precisely. Since you two were too engrossed in playing, the Evol Kitties are too exhausted. So you have to work hard at the cafe. Only then will these kitties feel better. I'm sorry, but these kitties do have a temper. Even I can't do anything about it. For, like, really urgent matters, press 1. If you're calling because of Thomas, please hang up. Otherwise, press... Okay, but like, cat fur is fine and soft. Whose patients wouldn't get tested? Right when you started criticizing my work, cutie. I actually put my phone to the side and didn't hear it. I'm in the small garden behind the cafe. Wanna come over? Not exactly. Lately, I've kind of just been feeling irritable for no reason. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. This reddish-brown stone with golden flecks fits perfectly into the coral section of my work. Thanks for that. I mean, just use this time to clear your mind. It's not as bad as you think it is. No need to worry. What was I like before? That's because their territory is so limited that they have to fight over it every day. It was once a stray, okay? It's used to the smell of leaves and grass. And, you know, sometimes even the tastiest treats don't cheer it up. <laughs> well, I just know my way around kitties. Besides, its fur has been dull and less bright lately. It's hard not to notice. Could you please pass me that stone? See? I'm asking nicely this time. Even though you lost your train of thought, I think I've just found my inspiration.
retreat here because this grove is quiet and beautiful calms me down. Those cats are stuck in a never-changing cafe, dealing with all sorts of people, so it's normal for them to be cranky. <sighs> yeah, well we can't exactly release them back into the wild. <laughs> Time to head back, cutie. Break's over, so we gotta start working. Um, need me to wipe it off with my tail? Oh, huh. Maybe I should clean my tail first. The city's urban green spaces are like all artificial. And since we can't travel far, why not embrace the call of the wilderness here in the immersive VR Experience Center? Nah, I chose the lion leopard savanna theme on purpose. Aren't lions just big cats? Relax, it's only VR. It won't be too... Hey, don't rub up against me. The lions on the glass walkway are all sleeping. Nothing to see here. Come on, I've got a place to show you. It was only one embarrassing moment, cutie. Now you just can't let it go. Fine, fine. Just make sure you really remember it for a lifetime, and not just give me that, did that really happen, look after a few days. We could move the taller furniture to the side that's a bit darker, give the kitties more sunny space to enjoy, you know? But... Sunlight alone isn't enough. Look over there. See that lion? It's a loner. A secluded cave might make it feel safer. A treehouse? Mission accomplished. Now let's enjoy ourselves. Is that all you want to do? Out here in a sunny savanna? So, what if there were real lions? What would you choose? Clearly the cafe's designer understands people better than kitties. 
Pass me the tape measure, cutie. But our idea is bigger than a cat tree. If we replace these chairs with hammocks, then add more wooden planks and pipes along the walls, people lying down could watch the cats above them, playing or resting. It'll be just like the VR center. Assaulting a co-worker? You ain't getting any treats tonight, you fluffy little rascal. We need to start building the treehouse now. The structure of the treehouse is basically ready, it just needs a few more finishing touches. Go ahead with your creativity, new designer. throw in some scattered leaves and petals as well. But this is not a hazelnut tree. It would throw off the whole design. Anything that's not a ball. <sighs> it's a pencil, not a knife. Why are you so tense? Excuse you. I'm not a loser. I just fully support your idea. Given your consideration of the kitties, let's go with the hazelnuts. Hmm. Just a few days ago, you were saying these kitties have a temper, and now you've got them all figured out. You really are a qualified chief caretaker. It's all set up now. Feels nice to the touch, but if you look closely, it could still be refined a bit more. As for the branches, they're sturdy. Unless we somehow get 10 cats dancing on them, they'll be fine. Aren't you gonna help? Why are you still teasing those kitties? Well, caretaking time is over. Now it's my turn. Did you see the artificial vines and sod I got? Chaos is a form of art. The same can be said about order. Why is there so much stuff? Give them to me. Can't wait? How come you're more excited than the kitties? What's in the other bag? Ah. <clears throat> ah. Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> Feels like the canopy overhead resembles a basilisk, the overlord of all snakes. And these vines are its traps. <laughs> People petrify at the sight of the basilisk because of its horrible evilness. Sheer terror is the true cause of petrification. But evilness is nowhere to be found on your face. There's only... Sand. Like you're a clumsy ostrich that buried its head in the desert. Let's make a deal. Help me with these vines and this wild beast, and in return, I'll bring back your beauty and dignity. How's that for a win-win? I've been meaning to ask if its real name is Daring, misheard as Darling. Such a fierce cat hardly suits the lovely name Darling. The colors are a perfect match. I won't look, but why does that squirt get off scot-free? My beach! I always knew cats were the most evil creatures in this world. Secrets are all about surprises. And now, not only do I get an early surprise, but I also get to rebuild the secret with you. Isn't that great? The kitty has never seen a beach before, so it's an understandable mistake. And as for the chief caretaker using the kitty's territory to build me a secret base, I'm sure they will understand. Come here, and leave your mark as an artist. Anyone who can read the kitty's minds and design a space that blends forest and sea together is an artist in my book. Hey. Yeah, but be careful with that test. If you fall, you won't land on your feet like a cat. Enough testing. So I'm gonna sacrifice myself to get out of danger before you bring the whole thing down. What kind of questionable stuff were you reading? Oh, 
Hold on, you know I'm not actually a cat, right? I've covered it with pebbles so it won't be mistaken for a litter box now. And as for the high platforms, they're equipped with safety nets. There's nothing to worry about there. I'm more concerned they won't appreciate my design. Five, six, seven? Are we actually going to see 10 kitties dancing on the trunk? That depends on the kitty. As far as I know, a cat can weigh up to 50 pounds. It's unbelievable that a cat can get that big without mutating. Watch out! Treating kitties can be way more expensive than treating people. They have a huge treehouse to explore. Why are they climbing on me? I'm not a cat tree. Wait, this kitty. Nice to see you again, little brat. You wrecked my secret base and tried to bully the designer. Stop acting innocent. Keep your claws to yourself, and keep your tail from hitting me. Cats should have manners too. When entering someone else's territory, be polite, and always ask for permission before getting up close with another cat's owner. Why are you helping them against me? These kitties are wild. My hair's all messed up now. And it took forever to smooth out my tail. Now I gotta do it all over again. Beautiful things might not last, but moments like these are worth remembering. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You look happy and cute. The only good thing about this annoying tale is that it brings out such an expression from you, cutie. But I guess it's better if I deal with this burden. It's time for my tail to gracefully retire.